Welcome back to your Monday morning. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We are live, large and in charge and hanging out with Rob van Feeren, of course, a man who's established himself as a consummate professional and performer in the South African entertainment scene and industry. And he's dazzled live TV, movie audiences and his acting and stand-up comedy over the past two decades has been nothing short of amazing. He's joining us on Expresso this morning. So uh, we're taking a chance to find out more about, well, among, among the things, his weekend, which I'm hoping he'll actually remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but also what he's up to right now. So, Rob, do you actually remember wanna, what happened on the weekend? I don't want to talk about it's anything. Open. I just want to sit here and listen to you talking about how amazing I am. But you're... <laughs> what so a girl. It's <laughs> cool. like, With every accolade that Who he mentions, he's just like, yeah. Where's yeah. this guy getting here? He sounds cool. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> oh, man, Rob, it's so good to have you here. Now, I know that you'll be performing uh, in a revival of your acclaimed one-man show, Electric Juju. Mm -hmm. Is it Juju? Electric juju. juju sounds even juju. fancier. Oh, love juju. it. Juju. Electric, Electric juju. Like juju. Yeah. Electric Juju, uh, which of course you've been performing. Uh, first of all, why is this a one time performance? Second of all, why have you decided to bring it back? Uh, so it's a one time performance primarily because I'm uh, uh, taking it to the National Arts Festival in Makanda. Uh, and I needed a preview in Cape Town before I took it there. Nice. Uh, just to get it back on its feet. Yeah. Because uh, it's been about it's 10 years since I did it last. Wow, wow. So, uh, and it requires a, an immense kind of uh, physical commitment and it's, it's, it's very hard to do. Yeah. So I needed to put it on its feet in Cape Town. I ho hopefully I'll bring it back to Cape Town after nice. the Please festival. Do. Please do. Um, but it's just a one-off thing and it just so happens to be on Father's Day. That's not... Um, a there wasn't a choice. It was like literally the only day the I had three at the <laughs> moment. <laughs> like it's on that day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. And was it back? I'm very intrigued. Electric juju. Could yeah. you explain the premise of the show? And so, what's... Okay. So it's a it's a fantasy epic basically. Uh, fantasy is a genre I've uh, absolutely loved from forever. Yeah. Uh, and I was fascinated with the idea of trying to bring fantasy onto stage in a, in a one man kind of physical theatre kind of uh, mode, which I thought would be an interesting thing to do. Mm. Uh, it's kind of a homage to writers like Neil Gaiman, Terry Pratchett, Clive Barker, who I've always loved. And then like movies that I loved growing up, like Never Ending Story and oh, wow. Labyrinth and stuff like that. So mm. it's, it's like deep fantasy. It's a little girl gets sent to a parallel dimension where there's giants, monsters, uh, evil magicians, and wow. lots of crows. And that all is happening It's all happening here. Yeah, 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 yeah. like, woo! It's amazing. I thought it had something to do with uh, our son, our son of the soil here, but it's obviously not anything to do with that. It's just the general. No, it's a, yeah, yeah, it's a totally coincidental. Okay. Coincidental. Coincidental. The, ju the juju was really just like a, a reference to magic. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The evil magician is is like this guy who has this kind of. Yeah. Control over lightning storms. And People forget that he didn't actually create that name. Juju's yeah, it was has around been a word that's been around yeah, for like forever. Yeah. But and this show is quite old. And the reason I'm bringing yeah. it back is because I'm going to um, the National Arts Festival again this year. It's my 25th consecutive year wow. performing Incredible. at that's that festival. So I've decided to take a whole kind of uh, bouquet of, of shows to, to kind of showcase the kind of stuff I've been doing over the last 25 yeah, years. So yeah. I'll obviously be doing a, a comedy show. Uh, I'm doing my new stand-up show again. Uh, it's called Again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm doing it again. <laughs> yeah. It's also about why I keep going back to the festival again and again yeah, and again. again, and again. They should make you an ambassador just like officially. Maybe you, are you, are you an ambassador? I'm hoping that the, they're naming a street after the, me or something. They should. Yeah, it's about like a, time. I think a ticket it's about tacker time. parade. I want the mayor to hand me the keys. How about that? The, With yeah. a ribbon cutting and everything. Yeah. 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 But besides, obviously, all this amazing work that you do on the stage and on the screen, you also work with your wife where you do, you create a series of books, children's books in uh -huh. particular. Uh -huh. It's called Florence at Watt and Watson, uh, uh -huh. which you've obviously adapted at nine to a children's so theater. Yeah. What's the next step for this amazing project? Um, so we, uh, so what we've done, it's very exciting. We've done, so we've done two books, basically. Mm. We have three kind of print editions of it. Florence and Watson is like the, the, the narrators of the story. They are mm. honey badgers. The first one is- your wife. Yeah, the, my, my wife and I play those characters in the stage mm. show. Um, uh, the first book was Florence and Watson and the Sugarbush Mouse. Uh, the second one is Florence and Watson and the Great Pangolin Mystery. Mm -hmm. What we've done now is we, we translated the first book into a trilingual edition. So it's got English, Afrikaans, and Isikosa. Nice. And what we've done is t made an Isikosa version of the stage play of that production with two local actors who we're taking down to Makanda with us. And we're doing the first 
um, is it cost of production of that show for kids mm. uh, in the Eastern Cape, which we are super, super Man, excited about exciting. it. Please check out our website and you can help us with a bit of crowdfunding so that we can take that project further and to get it to kids in rural areas in the Eastern Cape. We're really excited. Mm. And what's wow, that website? So FlorenceandWatson.co.za. Yeah. Really, really easy. So what's next? I mean, you, you're strictly come dancing. Champion, author, stage actor, sure. movie actor, director, <laughs> producer. Wow. Next. What is um, next? Uh, so I'm, I'm deep in the throes of preparing for Grahamstown right now for the, for, for the National Arts right. Festival. I've got to uh, put Electric Juju <laughs> on his feet. I've got to do again. I'm doing a one-man show, Dangled, by yeah. Louis Fulion, that I've also got to get back on his feet. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing the Great Pangolin Mystery. We've raised a lot of money for the African Pangolin Working Group, which oh. are raising funds to protect the pangolin, which is currently the world's most illegally trafficked mammal. Mm. Um, and they're really on the verge of extinction, so we're trying our best to kind of raise awareness about that. So please check out the African Pangolin yeah. Working Group. Donate to them. Uh, they're doing incredible work in Africa. Uh, and I'm busy, in the midst of all of this, I'm busy shooting a top secret television show, which is a hugely exciting project, wow. which is going to kind of be a landmark uh, TV event uh, for Africa, which I'm not allowed to say anything about you beyond are. that. It's I'm actually, called, so it's actually called The Weekend, and Rob's going to tell us about it next time. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, this weekend? It's the, what is this weekend <laughs> thing Listen, you go check out uh, Rob's show at the Cogway Theatre. Of course, that one uh, once-off show called Electric Juju. Mm. Uh, book tickets at cogbaytheatre.co.za. We're going to have more fun with Rob throughout the show this morning.